Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? For The Walking Dead Season 1? <clears throat> Let's go, dude. Let's go. I've been craving this. I've been craving to stream it specifically, chat. Specifically to stream it with y'all. Because I like playing games with you, chat. I like playing games with you more than I like playing games on my own. Could be the highest compliment I've given anyone in my life. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, Taro. See how it goes. We will see how it goes. We're just going to do episode one tonight. Just episode one, nice and easy, nice and chill, nothing crazy, just the first one, no big drama. <laughs> Taro, first thing I want to see more Darkest Dungeon, shit! Taro Tartar, -tar, dude. Thank you for that, for that comment. Thank you for that comment so much. <laughs> I wanted to throw in an episode. Don't tell him. It's not going to be our secret because you're all going to rat me out. You're going to rat me out, by the way. Modelo, Negra, Rocket. Just one for tonight. No big drama. Chet, you're going to rat me out. But as he always does always since the first time i met the man bossman got in my head bossman mind games dude he's the best at the mind games you know this you know this he was like yo dude when are you gonna stream something else you know of course you know yes the master the absolute master <laughs> yo Chat, seriously, when are we going to get that guy over here to play Remake 4? Needs to happen day one, honestly, or else I'm offended. Honestly, I'm offended. Honestly, he if he doesn't come here or invite me there, I'm offended. 100%, I will take offense. I will take offense. Straight up. Like, come on now. Let's go, bossman. For reals. Pre yeah, I have the I have the offense locked and loaded. It's a locked and loaded chat right here, dude. It's ready to fire. Pew! The offense is ready to fire. Preemptively offended. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, no, seriously, in all reality, no offense, dude. Across the country, that's that's deep. That's deep. That's so deep, chat. So please don't get your hopes up. In all honesty, I'm bringing it down a notch for reals. Big, big deal traveling across the entire USA. Big deal. Big deal. Hell yeah. Hopefully it happens, though. Hopefully it does. I do not remember Rebirth Crusader. What a great question to bring us back into The Walking Dead Season 1. Absolutely legendary series. Remember when we streamed the final season together for the first time? That was so fun, chat. Do you remember that? Raise your hand if you were there. I know some of you were there. I know some of you were there, dude. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Final season, dude. That was sick first playthrough together that was dope honestly though this will be similar to a first playthrough chat i have not played through this in so long i've gone through the entire series just once just one time and you know i love my replays you know i love to replay do you get that full take the full take yes so we're going back to the beginning 
how it all started. As the world ends, Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Oh. <laughs> Let's get into it, chat. Let's go. I think it's time. Let's go. Didn't do settings. Subtitles. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. Subtitles. Remember, we're going to get some of that telltale jank in here. We all know how it is, all right? Let's not pretend. <laughs> Let's not pretend otherwise. We'll get some telltale jank in here. We've all done it. We've all put up with it. Subtitles are on. Alright. The options have been set. Let's go. Which I love Walking Dead. So much. The freaking games, the mood, the show. I'm a casual, so not the comics. So let's go. I will say Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes, top 10 characters of all time, easily. Easily top 10. Easily top 10, no question. Easily. Easily. There is no debate. There is absolutely no debate. Andrew Lincoln, Walking Dead, top 10 character of all time. Time. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. Standard. Dude, we're going standard. More help. Okay, we don't need help, dude. We don't need help. Oh, I like the choice notification, though. I like that, actually. So I think we're going to go standard here. I think we're going to go standard, right? Because we want the choice notifications. That's fun. They will remember that. Isn't that fun? That's like a meme at this point. So and so will remember that. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, so we're going standard. That's my logic. Let's get into this, dude. A new day. Dude, I'm not ready. I just, I just realized I'm not ready, dude. All right, Lee Everett, Clem, let's go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Peak. Peak. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a minute, season one. It's been a minute. Remember, Telltale Jank, everybody. Set your expectations. Just a little bit. <laughs> Fuck this pig. I'm taking you out. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Making. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Uh, medical personnel under the heart, the old, various 10 to 20 
Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Shit. You wanna know how I see it? He's been chill. Actually. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong I said woman. sure, dude. What? this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane not tell him he's got to stop but that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. <laughs> he sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Thanks for the sub, True Space Baron. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This other time... Oh, shit! this two gens ago now two full generations ago this game it is the remaster yeah yeah remaster it was so jank back then oh my goodness don't even, don't even get me started on telltale dude don't even get me started <sighs> played so many other games so many. Oh, shit. There's always jank. Ah, <laughs> fuck. My leg. But everything else rises above the jank, chat. Everything else. Lee Everett rises above the jank. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Hell yeah. I need to drag myself out that window. Get out of here, dude. Get out. I need to drag myself out that window. How do you do that? Oh, we're actually moving here. Damn it. There it is. Mr. Cooey, 54 months. Thanks so much. Thanks, Kovalik. Appreciate that. Everett. Get those keys, dude. 
Get those keys. Tripping, dude. Hold up. Give me a moment. Dude, maybe I should have done minimal HUD chat. This like giant D-pad. What do you think about that? Isn't that is that is that even on normal? Officer. Zombie. Holy shit. Face. What in the hell? Get away from me. Get it. Is that shotgun? Kovalik. That's what uh, Dr. Brenner tells Rick Grimes in episode 6, season 1. He whispers in his ear. Which is a very intense change from the comics. And they always say they kind of regretted doing that. It different? I could have sworn. I feel like that's it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Don't trust me. Don't trust me. I don't know. I don't know. Any comic book lore masters in here? I remember that was kind of a big deal in the show that they did that. That's all I can speak for. So yeah, end of season one, the thing was Brenner was like, yo, everyone's infected. Everyone's infected. Hello? Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. This house, dude. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I can't handle this, I can't handle this. It's too much. I haven't been in this house in so long, dude. I'm not an intruder. Holy shit. Holy shit! Not one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Oh! 
Drawers here. Mm, Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Radio, dude. Good pickup. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Good call. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Hunting for supplies. Top three survival horror mechanics. <laughs> Maybe number one. As far as I'm concerned, number one. Number one. Hunting for supplies. Dude, it is ten. All you hear is a ticking clock right now. It's so bold. Such a bold move. Just. What is that? What's that beeping? What is that? Three new messages. Message Lord. one. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Atlanta, dude. Rick Grimes crew. Rick Grimes crew. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh! <laughs> blood again! Shit, Chris's blood! <laughs> Damn it, Chris.
dude. Feel the kill, dude. It's so hey. intense. Hi there. So intense. <laughs> Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. I'm gonna remember that. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. Yeah. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good <sighs> idea. Oh, Jesus. Let's go. Stay close to me. Fuck. Can't handle this, dude. Can't handle it. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. What? No quarrel. Are we going to die? They're after me, not you. Why? Dude, stay down. Georgia State Patrol. What? Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Fucking Of course. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Jesus. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Honesty. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just w Walker! Oh shit! It's Chet! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Couldn't do it! Couldn't do it! Couldn't do it! Couldn't do it! Get the hell out! Dude, where's Herschel? Stay out of your dad. <laughs> where's Herschel at? Sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. 
Dude, if someone turns, you either amputate or kill immediately. Let's go. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. Her shoulder. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Lee! Lee! How'd Lee! 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 I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Dude, Herschel, yeah, Herschel's the best complete malarkey. I miss my mom and dad. Oh, I love Herschel. So okay. much heart. So much heart. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. The prison arc when he just like stays behind to help people. He just like waits in the infect. He's like in the infected area. He's like, I don't care. Helping everyone. I love you, baby. Yeah, Zio, the prison, dude, the infection. Oh my god, Herschel, dude. <laughs> hey, get up. Yo, what up? <laughs> well, you slept in a barn, little lady. What? Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. Up. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the Kenny end of it. Kenny already, huh? That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> the word is, you were on your way to Macon. Our family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Henry and Joel. I'll see what the girl would yes. like. Yes. Ah, 
Got to consult the missus. Absolutely. I understand. Clem is in charge. Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clem's running the show, chat. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! How can I will hop to it? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Complete malarkey. That's awesome fact. Thank you for that. That rules. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anything. Jesus. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? <laughs> I'm a veterinarian <laughs> back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. First grader. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Let's do a little mini game. A little mini game action. Let's go. Hook us up. My dad doesn't know how bad it no is. No mini game. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Try to give me one second to take a slight break. One moment. Time out. <laughs> give me a minute. Actually, Brad Ellis is here. Do you actually tell him to say what up? But he probably won't. Brad's outside chat. Give me a sec. Give me a sec.
Hey, chat. There he is. Hi, chat. There, he just wanted to say hello. I made him yeah. say hello. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to New York tomorrow. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Hell yeah. That's it. <laughs> quick trip, then quick, I'll be back. Quick trip, he'll be back, Brad Ellis. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'll be back in a sec. All right, see you, chat. Lou, bro, what up? Brad is gone. Just cameo. Always fun to have a little Brad cameo chat. <laughs> Got to watch Royal Rumble with Brad and Grumbomb. It was so fun. Maybe we'll do Elimination Chamber. I'm not going to comment on anything Brad related. Because I always get in trouble. So, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me any anything about anything, chat. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know what Brad's doing. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Back to Lee and Clem. Sometimes, it's kill, be killed. And guess, I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I 
This is Herschel, dude. Herschel Green, yep. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. He's on Herschel, but Herschel we saw earlier. Probably gonna find him right now. Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Jeez. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. Lee! I don't want kids. <laughs> what up, Herschel? What up, my man? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. <laughs> Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. No! Oh, I'll get my gun! Get out of it! Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot! Get out of here! Probably should have should saved the kid. Fuck. Dude, he's host. I got you. Kenny, I panicked. Kenny. 
Get it out, dude! Get it out! Stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I. Immediately, dude. Immediately. Immediately. Some jolly ass guy, dude. Some jolly ass guy. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. He saved the kid! You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to Macon if you want it. Macon. <laughs> oh, Wu Tang, well, hell yeah. This is as far as we're That's going. That's how I roll. And it's far enough. I always like the sad shit. For empathy, you know? Hey there! Just you friendly? Connect with it. Trucks run out of gas. That shit always hits. <laughs> We're trapped. Ah! Hell, no! Tight. Tight. Let's go. Let's go. Look who it is. Take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go! Fuck. They've got kids. I didn't know though. that was the tone. Those things outside don't it's always that shit. Maybe you should go that tone. Them. I thought it was you just go, just go. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. 
No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. That's nuts. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all... This guy has dead him. rising energy. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? It also reminds me of the mist. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Seriously. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck Jesus. up. Jesus. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. See it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little Fuck boy, this guy. before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Dude. Hey, I'm not the Can we help guy. Clem over there? Looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else- Hell is yeah! <coughs> All in, Lee! <coughs> me before anybody! Jesus! Clem, <coughs> dude! That's what I fucking said! That's what I said! Clem! Good shot. You okay? Good shot. Just great, thanks. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, guys. <laughs> This guy is a liability. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. Doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye Help on them now. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. And if he re he be maybe he can redeem while. himself. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards the trees. back, siphoning what I can. Peach trees. Peach trees! <laughs> Local? <laughs> Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get it. Where are my real ones? Hopefully, you won't need Where are my real ones at? Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. 
What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. <laughs> Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. You, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Let's get those pills. Pills here. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. This open? That's a bathroom. What is this? The pills are in there. Take that energy bar. Items! Dude. First of all, check on Clem, dude. Oh. Here you go. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Dude, I want Clem to come to the show universe so badly. Just do it already, dude. It Just doing? get her in there. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Her comic was pretty good. Yep, it was pretty good. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that least seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were at Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. 
Sounds good. Punish Lee, dude. Yeah, Punish Lee. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Just checking that mechanic. Need to find more supplies. Yes! Clem! Feed Clem! Must feed Clem. Must, must protect Clem. We can't let anything happen. Immediate. I know, hon. Feeding Clem. Here you go. Oh, I can't give it to her. Alright. Oh, another one? Dude, we got multiple. We got multiple. Alright. Stockpile. Everything okay? Mm hmm. Alright. She's good. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. <laughs> That's a good one. It's all melted now. <laughs> Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's Could the be plan? Alive. Hang tight, I suppose. Maybe. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Do I love Walking Dead? <laughs> Try to let it go. Every episode on Netflix chat, every single episode, good ass show. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. It's not much, but here for the board. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah, last season's up on Netflix. I'll say season seven and eight are kind of a low point, but then season nine is actually my favorite in the last couple of like one through six, and then nine through 11. Okay. Seven and eights. I can't think about them in here.
Better when you binge, though. I will say that. This door leads to the back alley. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Seriously, it's nice, Chad, because the first season is only six episodes. Check it out, dude. Seriously. Easy commitment. Watch first season. If you like it. The show gets different, like, as it moves on, but... Those first couple seasons... <laughs> and that's the thing, people, like, criticize it, you know? Even the bad seasons, dude, there's so many high What's moments. This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. The dad's are smart like that. <laughs> better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. No! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. First aid kit. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace.
What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Killed some senator. <laughs> you seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Worry about it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Does it hurt when I do this? Dude, hook her up, Lee! A little... not too much. Hook her up! You sure? Yeah. Didn't I pick up a bandage or no? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, there please. That's what I figured. Beam! Beam! This is the annual purge. Class 3 weapons and lower are legal. <laughs> Love the purge. Purge, dude. Purge electioneer, 10 out of 10. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Fucking love electioneer. <clears throat> good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Do purge two and three and one. Dude. And the forever purge. First, dude, they're all it's one of my faves, chat. I love purge. For real. I'm gonna keep looking around. All of them. Okay. around here you come up here or anything what's going on looking for some keys is it outside want to head back into the drugstore with me okay Lee yeah you're not bad right 
I... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I done this wrong, chat. I done this wrong. I couldn't find the keys. There was no one no, nowhere, right? Didn't I? Calm that area, dude. Hey there. Calm that area. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm right? kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds For good. Glenn. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn. For Glenn! I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Dude, how do we get in here? How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Help him out, dude. Give everyone some it's food. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. Pass it around. It's uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Pass it around. There were some keys in here, chat. Oh, what is this? No, just a door. That's locked. Alright. Try one more time here. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. What about up? Check the ceilings. I think we're good, actually. I think nothing is in here. 100%. Fixed camera, Resident Evil skills coming into play. We are thorough, if nothing else. G bar. Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Scope it out, dude. Scope it out with Doug. Is he sketch? <laughs> Doug's about to fucking kill us. I can tell them it's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I 
think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Maybe a couple decades. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his keys. pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around <laughs> there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Dude, literally seasons 9 through 11 are incredible, so are 1 through 6. And 7 and 8, when you binge it, is a really good action movie. When I rewatch Walking Dead 7 through 8, it reminds me of rewatching Lost Season 4 when the Mercs come to the island. Terrible at first, but when you binge it, it's a fucking sick action movie. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Uh, fuck. Just a few seconds. Fuck! Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Please, bro. Please, bro. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try it. <laughs> But, like, it's so hard for a show that's 11 seasons to be good. So well, embrace it for that. that. Embrace it well, for its longevity. Save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? So many great shows are, like, five seasons or less, too. But when a show's, like, that long, and a lot of it's good... Got a few of them to take notice. I kind of cherish the whatever episodes where you're just spending time with characters. It's so nice. 11 seasons to just live with the characters is a privilege and a pleasure. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And Whoops. what happened? I think they're most of who you see. Can't skip around any around. dialogue chat, even if it's repeat. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? 
No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. <laughs> it's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Not sure how to do that, chat. Oh, brick. I can't reach that what? brick. Dude, we can get that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Do we can get that brick? I can't reach that brick. Tricky, tricky. Let's head back inside. Okay. Need that brick, chat. Gotta get a tool to get that brick. Let's find it. It's gotta be something. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You've got it. Hmm. I'm not getting it, chat. This is tricky now. Been all up through here. And all in. Food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hmm. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hooking everybody up. I wanted to feel more when I saw the Flash trailer. I think just so many actors have been coming back to roles, legacy roles, for the last like five or ten years. That it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean as much anymore when it happens. Even if it's Michael Keaton as Batman. That's just me. Yeah, and Ezra Miller's weird. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too hyped, unfortunately. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Got some unfinished business out there. Let's have a look around. Okay. Super Supergirl looks cool. I don't know about. I 
Can't reach that. I brick. need that brick, dude. What is the freaking up with the brick? I think we're hosed. I think we're letting the old man die, chat, because I can't find a way to get this brick. And that's just gonna do it. It's a combination lock. Not going to happen. Yep. Yeah. Legit searched. We should think about searching that guy across Maybe the street. Maybe you can grab it. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Yeah, that's it. Tried everything, Chad. Multiple, okay. multiple times. Multiple times. Every room, multiple times. Multiple. Multiple. Looks. So that's going to do it. We out. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved me. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Yeah, Lee. I find it hard to believe she didn't no check the batteries. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. <laughs> I can try oh to my find god. Some. Needs two. Thanks. All right. I wouldn't even really know what to look That's for. That's a stretch. That is a stretch. That she does not know to check the fucking batteries, but we'll we'll let it slide for now because it's the first. Just the first. It's all right. Well, we will remember that. We will remember that. Didn't I see batteries lying around somewhere? I could have sworn. It looked like a battery. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. I could have sworn. I won't even let us grab that cane. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We've combed it, chat. We have combed. We have Spencer Mansion combed through this pharmacy like it is nobody's business. So we are out of here after one last pass. What? It, oh. One last pass. You shall not pass. <laughs> Dude's got to be top five moments in cinema it has got to be this battery should fit the radio great thanks okay i'm still looking for batteries for that day thanks we need more do we need more dude 
No, I'm sorry. This shit is hardcore. This this chaos. still has like back in the day adventure game cryptic adventure game vibes, you know? It's still like straddling that line. I can't, I can't even tell you how much we've been over this place. Oh. Battery. Battery on the ground. Battery on the ground. Yes. Dude, anything else? We've checked the ceilings. We've checked the freaking floors. Here you go. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yes. Let's. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. that antenna going, dude. Yes. Let's go, dude. I got a transistor radio. You used to listen to Vin Scully on that thing, dude. AM 980. Let's go. Nothing. Dude, what else? What else? What else? What do we got? What do we got? Tuner? Where's the tuner at, dude? Where's the fucking tuner? Let's tune. Let us tune. We're loaded up. Let's try that. Tricky, tricky. Now we do it. Yeah. As the unknown affliction continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. What's up, Zarn all, all of J? All of mine? Great. That's it. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Noticed that we're cons concerned. Man, I'm so upset about this lock, chat. I'm so upset about it. But it is what it is. You know? Time to move on. Get wrecked, gamer. <laughs> hey there. Let's go. We looked so thoroughly, you cannot deny it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. The dirty lemur, that's amazing. Shit! Shit. Yeah, Tucker, I'm gonna head up to Boozer's camp. Sword gonna look for some scrap. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Let's get the fuck out. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Nope. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. Then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? 
It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn, right She's a can. liability. You guys are suicidal yeah. over a girl. I'm saving her with or I'm in. you. Think about if it was I'm you. in. She might be gone, Let's go though. save Glenn's damsel in distress. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea, dude. It was this time crisis shit. Virtual cop. Action! Action! Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> So we have to kill every one of them in here. Reload! 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 No! It attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Keep it chill. Don't! 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 Keep it chill. Keep it chill. Why did I do that? Why the hell did I do it? It's all right. Stealth chat, stealth. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Shit. Let's get back, let's get back. Redo, redo, redo. We should keep looking around for weapons. Yeah. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. Yeah, they do. We can hide by that pickup. Let's do it. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Keys, keys, nothing. Oh, I don't want to smash it, dude. I don't want to smash it. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their growling attracts the others. Fuck it. Maybe on the ground? Fuck it. Fucking chat. Ow. Hey, man. That drew some attention. Be careful. All right. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yo, why is this shit so cryptic, dude? Damn. Good grief. I feel like we're being pretty thorough, chat. You know? I feel like I'm not passing too much up. Nowhere to go. We're a little naked out here, 
Except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. This way, nothing, dude, nothing. All right, game. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. All right, we've looked left. We've looked up, mostly. <laughs> looked right. All right, like everywhere. All of it. Everything, every frame. <laughs> no one else to like move. It won't let us move anywhere. right are the same frames here which is weird and then left is nothing he's not going anywhere hmm. chat I'm stuck I would like to ask the audience are you sure you would like to like to ask the audience you want to use a lifeline you want to use a lifeline You still have your 50-50. And what was the other one? Phone a friend. You still have your 50-50 and your phone a friend, but you want to use your life, your, your, your ask the audience. I would like to ask the audience, Mr. Philbin. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing. There's nowhere to go, chat. There's nowhere to go, dude. I'm serious. There is nowhere to go. I have done left. Right? Left? 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 Right fucking in front of my face. Right in front of my face. Right in front of my face. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Classic gamer moment. Classic gamer moment. Funny when you solve the hardest parts just like immediately, and then on some BS, you're like some little thing, you get stuck. You know what happens. <laughs> you know what happens. All right, we got it. What are you gonna do? We with got that? it. I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making right. a bunch of noise, right. and none with pillows. Just want to make sure that I'm done trying to punch out windows. What? What are you talking about, dude? What are you smoking, dude? I'm pushing every fucking... Dude. Pillow? What are you gonna do I with used that? pillow. I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting I the used cars? pillow and punch. Not tools or making a bunch of noise. What is happening? None with pillows. <laughs> we are struggling, Jet. We are struggling. We are absolutely struggling here. We got it. We got it. Stay right behind me. We got it. Dude. That's sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Let's do this. It's a smart thing. Smart plug. You should hold on to that. Iconic shit time, chat. Soon. There's a big Why don't you drag? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yo, what up, Sebastian Castellanos? this are you two done yo glenn hyped on axes no more that should help <laughs> why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell okay we'll be right behind you In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Oh, God. I... 
I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christmas. <laughs> Fucking Glenn. Please, that would be that would be Glenn at this point. That would be Glenn. That is so Glenn. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So can I borrow it? What she do you knows, borrow? dude. She knows. Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like, and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her! Help her out here. You're insane! Just take this thing! Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. So dark. So fucking dark. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Shit's over a decade old. That's sick. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls. Sorry, chat. For that trigger, we'll lack of trigger warning, I'm sorry. Okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Those pills. Let's get those pills. All right, I've got the axe. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey, Hori, 67 months. Thanks so much. Love and respect. Some of the dialogue reminds me of, like, early Deus Ex chat. Just like the, the, like, you're walking around and then just like the, you're talking to each other. Hey, how you doing around here? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> you know, just that OG Deus Ex shit. <laughs> One of these days, chat, we'll do a full playthrough of Deus Ex. We'll do it. We'll do it. 100% we'll do it. 100% dude, that one, well, if I if if and when I do it, it we will start with the original. 100%. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the X-Men theme. Oh, it's so epic, dude. It's so epic. Love that shit. We'll do it. 
Oh, they're great, Noir. They're so great. So, so great. Some of the best. Some of the best. I never asked for this. After human revolutions, mankind divided, and that's kind of a phantom pain situation, chat. It's kind of a phantom pain situation. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go full cam here, rarity. Cause I don't want you to hear the like darkest dungeon mosquito fucking vibes of that shit. <laughs> yeah, mankind divided is like phantom pain chat. You know? The Square Enix just like messing with them. You know, forcing some DLC in there. Unfinished business. The game, the game, one of the most brutal experiences, chat, where like, you're playing the game, you're playing Mankind Divided, and it's all building, dude. It's building up. And the whole time you're like, dude, there's one huge area yet to come it's going to be this big finale this big open space big story area you're ready for it and before that happens credits credits just like what we're not going to we're not where, where there's not what there's not an extra area, dude. What? <sighs> oh. Still great, despite everything, you know? But Human Revolution's where it's at, for sure. And and the original is just the best, chat. The original's a masterpiece. Trust, dude. When we stream it, chat, trust. I don't think they ever had story DLC in Mankind Divided. Because the, the prison was in... Was the prison Mankind Divided? Or was that also Human Revolution? I know Human Revolution had Missing Link. Was the prison Mankind Divided? Because that shit is good. But it's prequel stuff. So there's no... There's no after. Yeah, I think I think Missing Link was Human Rev and then, and then that prison was Mankind. Yeah. Sad times. Sad times. All right, Jack, give me one moment we're gonna take a break from this chaos i'm sorry about the motel dude it, it adventure game to me i got a little little tripped up there but we're back on track gonna get some keys to the to the pharmacy brb gotta answer lore questions before i go uh human revolution and mankind divided are technically well they are a prequel to the original deus ex so timeline wise it's human revolution mankind divided deus ex and then invisible war and that's where we're at all right brb
to the pit. Chat, back to the pit. <laughs> Man, that Darkest Dungeon DLC. <laughs> Give me a hard time. All right, chat, let's do it. Is this a good idea? I can't reach Can that we brick. use axe to like... <sighs> Awesome. All right, that was quiet. You have to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. Come on, we open it. The stakes are high, dude. The stakes are high. Do it. Strike. Boom! Curveball. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Yo, Raccoon City vibes! Strong Raccoon City vibes right now. Praise Raccoon City. Now's the time. Trigger me. Why you gotta trigger me so hard? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. You gotta make me do this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna see this. I wanna see it. Still, still. Come on, why you gotta do this? One time I don't want to see any gore. There we go. Just the once. Holy crap! Run! Right, let's get out. It's kind of a Henry situation. It's like, at least it was you, I guess. Man, that I'd want to be the one. But we did it. It's all you know, it's mess. fucked up, dude. It's a burden I'd want to bear. In this situation. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Your Raccoon City vibes!
Yo, Clayton Kershaw back there? Let's go. <laughs> shout out. Dude, this is a sick shot. This is a top tier zombie shot. Fucking shout the fuck out. Yes. Top tier zombie shot. Mark it down. Yes. Take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out Sick. of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Let's go. Stay away from the windows. Sick shots! Jill Valentine over here. It's that zombie, dude. It's that one from the. That's so sick. It's the one from the shot. That's sick. Really enjoying our time with Lee chat. Really enjoying it. <laughs> Absolutely. Lee and Clem just soaking it in. Soaking it up. Good to be back. Glenn here, dude? It feels good to be with Glenn. What up, Glenn? I think I need to go. It would let. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. 
When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Dude, Dr. Mojo, we're getting the Expanse, dude. We're getting the Expanse soon. Drummer hype, let's go. Drummer, dude. The Expanse. It's coming, dude. It's coming. Hype. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of Damn, each other. Of course, yeah, Wolf Among Us. We do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. Love Fables. The girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. I've read yeah. almost all of Fables. Did you check the glove box? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? <laughs> How did you choose? Good little moment there. We both needed you. Great little moment. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. What's up, kids? Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. Expanse was Amazon. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Expanse is one of the greats, chat. It's one of the all-time greats. So? It can't really help us. But, I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. I didn't mean to do that. I was distracted. Gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, 
Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Time, dude. Spoilers. 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 We don't like those spoilers. We don't like them. We don't like them one bit. <laughs> we don't like them one bit. Nope. Some hardcore spoilers going on right now, Chad. Some hardcore spoilers. Easy allies, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. This is trivia, though. This is a game show trivia about Walking Dead. <laughs> We're asking questions. How many confirmed kills does Rick Grimes have? Confirmed kills. <laughs> Some of the most... Yo, this is so spoiler heavy, chat. Holy crap crazy it's absolutely crazy they just show the whole episode i wonder what they always did that back then it was pretty wild it's like you don't want to see this it's like you don't want to play this <laughs> you know we're gonna play this favorite rick rick grimes kill easy Easy. Oh, we just got a trophy. See the trophy pop. Or this is the remaster. Oh, we'll see all the decisions here. We'll come down here. Uh, favorite Rick Grimes kill. One of one of the best is Terminus. Terminus, dude, with like the wood. The wood shank. Terminus. Oh, one of the best. When they bust out a Terminus, dude, that's got to be some of the peak Rick Grimes. Fucking AK, dude. When that dude, when they're busting out, when they're busting out, zombie right behind Rick Grimes, Daryl Dixon arrow through the head. Rick just like looks at it, looks at Daryl back in action, dude. That's like the build up. Oh my god, dude. Rick and Daryl. Rick talking about top ten duos, dude. Rick and Daryl. Uh, lied to Herschel. Half of us lied. I was distracted for some of these things. Sometimes you don't even know it's a decision, dude. You're just like picking something. Always, even life is strange, chat. Even life is strange. Some of the the decisions is like you don't know the exact tone of what you're saying. So sometimes it can be tough. Ducker, Sean, 48%. Dude, all these are like 50. This is crazy. These are all 50-50. Side with Kenny, 54%. Give Irene the gun. Damn, more than half not giving Irene the gun is intense. It's like you're thinking of your own supplies and self-interest, dude. It's like, yo, sort of take yourself out. And more people chose Doug. 51%. Doug. 51 is shocking is absolutely shocking to me 100 percent. i am shocked i am shocked oh 
Wrong one there, chat. Wrong one. <laughs> that is shocking. That's it. A new day. That's it. Can't even speed up the credits. They make you watch everything. Can't skip dialogue. Can't skip next time on. Can't skip credits. They're like, yo, you will watch the creator's intent. <laughs> Chad, that was a very, very nice. Chad, that was sick. Honestly. Honestly. Walking Dead. Season 1. That's it. That's it, Chad. I got a lot of work to do. We went for almost three hours. It's over, dude. Settle in. Let that first episode sink in. We will now be cutting. We will now be cutting. Episodes in between our darkest dungeon descent chat. So be ready. We'll get there. Episode two, not far away. We will continue the journey of Lee Everett and Clem, dude. Clem. Clem. How wild is it, chat, that that entire first episode, Clem is just like, kind of off to the side, you know? Kind of off to the side there, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, chat. I want to go. I want to go more, but I'm going to let it sit. That pilot episode, dude, let that first one sit. Let it leave you wanting more. Is, is what I say. Tomorrow... Tomorrow, Easy Allies, is Dawn Hangout early in the morning. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. That is about 12 hours away. You are going to be gifted with some Dawn time. What could be better, chat? I mean, that's, that's like... That's the peak right there. Honestly. Honestly, couldn't imagine a better gift than getting some dawn time in 12 hours. And then a little after that, Isla and Dawn as well will be playing a game. I like to hesitate to say what game because I always get in trouble. So I'm just not going to say anything. I'm just going to look at the schedule. And then Dawn versus Wave Race after that. It's a Dawn day tomorrow, chat. It is Dawn all day long. You cannot go wrong. Double down on Dawn tomorrow right here. Easy Allies. And if you like Easy Allies, help us out. Help us out, dude. Ring that bell. Share that shit. Patreon. YouTube, Twitch, all of it. We are here doing this and more. So enjoy it. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your day. I hope it was good. And we will see you in 12 hours with Don. Love and respect. I love and respect. <laughs>